Oh, look at that. That right there, that's a seven pound brisket. Look what I got here. I got some root beer and I got a bunch of chili peppers. We're making a next level, super spicy, chili pepper root beer beef jerky with a brisket. Check it out. First step, we're gonna throw our brisket in the freezer for about an hour. Next step, you need about four cups of water. I got a few pasalilla chilies. And here I have some morita chilies, but first do this. Cut you some little slits in them so the moisture can get into it when it's cooking. Now we add our morita chilies. And lastly, a whole handful of Arbol chilies. Now we're bringing the heat. Now we'll just bring this to a boil and then we'll let it simmer for about 20 minutes. All right, it's time to make our marinade. We got our hot chili peppers. We're gonna add those in first. That looks like some spicy juice. I'm gonna give it a sip. Bitter and spicy, but it's kind of got a little flavor. So I'm gonna add a little bit in here. A little bit of that. We're gonna get our sugar from our root beer. Two of those. We're gonna use four green onions. Take our little stems off and we're gonna add three habaneros. Now we need a bunch of garlic. Add our garlic in. Last step, you need the Dano Chipotle. I got about three-fourths of a bottle. I'm gonna use almost all of it. Heck, might as well. We're gonna add us two or three teaspoons of some sea salt. Now let's blend it up and give it a try. See what it tastes like. Let's give it a little taste. Okay. I totally taste the root beer. And that's super hot. That's crazy good. Now let's prep our meat. All right, it's been about an hour and a half. Look at that. It's nice and hard. Be a lot easier to cut this way. Just gonna start cutting it thin. Now that is the perfect slice. Nice and thin, just like that. Now we simply just put our meat in our big two gallon Ziploc bag. Now we add our marinade. It's nice and thick. You don't want it super runny. The thicker, the better, cause it's gonna stick to the meat. Now take your time with this part. I can actually feel that there's some big clumps in there. So I'm actually gonna go in there with my hand, but we wanna go in here and make sure we get all these pieces separated. Make sure every piece is touching the marinade. In hindsight, this is probably a better way to do it because you wanna make sure you don't have the meat stuck together. So we're gonna pour that all out. We'll get a new bag and we make sure that we separate all this meat. See, this right here that would not have got marinated. We're gonna separate all of our meat slices. All right, now we got everything marinated. I am looking at it and I think we can put another root beer in there. We want that root beer flavor. Like I said, I could really taste it, but now we're gonna get more of it in there. It's not gonna be too runny because it's already super thick. All right, now that, my friends, that is perfect. Now let's get it into our bag. This is either gonna be awesome or a giant catastrophe. Check it out. Oh no, go, 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 go. I did it, I did it. All right, it's a little messy, that's all right. We're gonna squeeze the air out, make sure it's all coated in the marinade. We'll just put this in another plastic bag. There we go, just throw it in a trash bag, throw it in our fridge overnight. We'll see you in about 24 hours. All right, it's the next day, it's time to dehydrate. Oh, it smells good. Let's get a look. Look at that. It's perfect. That's exactly what you want it looking like. You got that marinade just sticking to it. I'm gonna lay these out. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, so we got our jerky laid out. We got six trays and I still got a bunch left. We're gonna throw that on the smoker. Let's start dehydrating. Now we're gonna put the rest of our jerky on our smoker. All right, so we're loaded up on the Grilla. We're gonna set this to 190 and let that smoke. We still got some left over. Time to get a look. As you can see, that jerky looks done to me. Look at that. Look at that underneath. Isn't that wild? I guess it was kind of like dripping off. Look at that. Yeah. Let's go give it a try. All right, let's get a look at our uh, dehydrator jerky. Look at that. Now it's time to do the taste test. We got our dehydrated versus the smoked. So let's give them a try. I'm gonna go with the dehydrated first. Mmm, still warm. That is super spicy. 
that's like really hot. I really can't even say that I can taste or even smell the root beer anymore, but that's really spicy. Now let's try the smoked. Perfectly cooked. It looks hot. And <laughs> it is hot. I'm going with the smoked. It's not super smoky flavor, but it's got the right amount. But that heat is really coming out in the smoked one. This seems almost twice as hot as the dehydrated. And they're both super hot. Hotter than I really want it. But I know the people that I made this for, when I take it to the office, they're going to really enjoy it. But that's how we did it. I would 100% say this is a 10 out of 10 jerky recipe. I mean, it's sweet, and it's super spicy, and it's yum yum, get you some. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time.